Hi everyone and welcome to the Java Thread and Java Heap tutorial. This tutorial basically provides you with a simple Java program so you can better understand this dependency between Java Thread and Java Heap. But more precisely, that the big areas are Java Heap, especially for the 32-bit JVM, and the lower areas are Thread capacity. So that would explain the paradox of why we basically we are able to create more Java Threads with a smaller Java Heap. This is exactly what will be demonstrated and also providing new guidance on how you can monitor also Java process via the Windows OS. Okay, it's always better to understand this problem via a simple Java program. So what, what I'm going to show you right now is to demonstrate basically that the bigger is your Java heap, the smaller is your thread capacity. So that's basically the paradox that we're going to explain today. So what we did is basically created a very simple Java program, which is just looping up to 5,000 and, and creating Java thread over and, and over, right? The Java threads, which is called idle thread, is not doing anything. The thread is just sitting there in wait state. It's not using any CPU. The goal is just to create as many thread as we can based on the JVM configuration. So we can demonstrate our goal here. So as a starting point, I'm using a Java size of 512 and a perm gen of 256. And the GDK 1.7 runtime is 32 bit. So let me run this as a starting point. As you can see, we ran out of memory before our upper limit of 5,000. So we were able to create 1,500 threads before the outer memory exceptions, which is the common error that you will see. Also, it could be from your production environment, for example, that's a common error that you will see. So now you may think that, okay, let's increase the Java heap. So this should give us more threads, right? That's exactly the other way around. So let me do that test right now. I'm going to increase now my Java heap to one gig, right? going to run the program again. Oh, this time you see, same, but I only 800 thread this time, why? Well, this is what I, you were reading earlier is that the thread creation records native memory. So by increasing the Java heap, you're stealing actually even more native memory, right? Especially for the 32-bit VM, so that this is reducing your thread capacity, right? Because Java threads, basically require the OS to fork a process and so on, and they require native memory. It, it, it's especially a con, uh, big constraint when you're using 32-bit JVM, like in this case, which is Windows 64-bit that I use, but I use a 32-bit hotspot VM, which is capped by default as a 2 gig from a Java processized footprint perspective. So it's not giving you too much thread, right? Um, so let me, let me show you how you can measure that, right? So in order to do that in Windows, you have to monitor the virtual bytes counter via perfmon. So let me rerun the program on debug state. Then you're, you're actually going to see, you see that? The process size virtual byte did reach 2 gig and then we ran out of memory. Because that's a default, right? So on Unix-based system like Celarius and Linux, you will be having like 4, four gig as a 32-bit Java process total footprint possible, right? But on Windows 64-bit, unless you're using the 3GB uh, switch, which is no longer supported anyway, um, well, you're, you're stuck with that 2 gig footprint. So if you want to use your memory from your 64-bit Windows, you have to switch to a 64-bit hotspot VM, okay? So that we can demonstrate here, we did reach 2 gig limit, and at some point the Windows OS did refuse to the hotspot JVM further thread creation, okay? You can also monitor this whole process in, as well, the other tool, which I like a lot, which is Visual VM as, as well. It allows you to basically do a monitoring of the thread and so on. So you can also use that. But from a Java footprint per perspective, if you really need to monitor the footprint, make sure you use virtual bytes as the counter. So I hope that you did uh, appreciate the, uh, the tutorial and demonstration of why you cannot create any more threads giving um, 
this cons constraint for the T2 bit. A final test that we're going to do right now, I'm going now to switch my runtime to a 64 bit Java. And let's rerun the program. There we go. 5000 thread this time, and no automatic exception. Why? Well, the 64 bit Java VM is no longer applicable, right? To that big cap right so in this case you can allocate much more memory so if I rerun the program on debug mode look at the virtual by this time you see that so I needed about 7 gig of memory to allocate these 5,000 threads which makes sense right because at some point each thread is using a certain amount of memory with the stack size and everything so Windows had to allocate quite a lot of memory to that 64-bit process to allow all these, these thread creation you see but if you're using 32-bit on Windows as I said be careful by default you're, you're stuck with that 2 GB limit okay so I hope you have enjoyed the tutorial that this is what I want to demonstrate I'll be posting the source code also from the article so don't worry you'll be able to play around with it also on your workstation and future tutorial will also include the same analysis but uh, with the Linux OS alright so thank you for visiting again my blog and watching these uh, tutorial videos and have a good day